Hi, this is Gadget Man 404 and today I'm doing a little demo flight with my SEMA X8C and the TK102 uh, Nano GPS Tracker. Now basically I've Velcroed it on but for safety purposes I'm just attaching another strap. Uh, it's all active, I've sent a text message to it just to double check it knows where I am and it does. So now I'm going to have a little flight and then I'm going to show you on my other phone the app where you can actually track it. Now I'm using a different head cam, I'm using a phone on a like a car style a USB mount like the suction cup and I've put the suction cup onto my cap itself so uh, it might need a bit of adjusting but I've got to be careful because where clamp holds the phone that's where my power button is so I can't move it too much because it will actually you know it'll turn it off so I'm just going to put my hat on now as I say I can't see uh, where the phone is looking so I'm assuming about there is okay I'm just going to get my controller Set that up. Oops. As I say, this is the demo of using this app, demo of using this setup. So I don't know how it's going to go. Don't even know if you're getting any of this in shot. But here we go. Let's connect her up. I've got my voltage meter hooked up today as well, just to see if I can get that to work. Because it always seems to go flat without alarming so I've set it to the highest today for a change so here we go plug that in a bit fiddly get there. come on you damn thing Let's switch it on turn my camera on That's all flashing, that's all doing. Control it on. Okay. Now as you can see, I'll hopefully start the app. Hopefully the head cam is actually getting some cool, you know, actually seeing it, because my other camera... It's just not uh, good enough quality. When it gets above, you know, when it gets quite far away from me, you can't see it. to zigzag left and right, left and right, just to try and go forward. It's really struggling, I don't know why. I've got full throw forward and it's hardly moving, and it's not that windy. One of my motors is gone maybe. Oh, I want to demonstration purposes, what I want to do, right, I'm going to fly near that tree. And there's something wrong. Something wrong here. Right, so, here's a demonstration, right, it's come down and I don't know where it is. So, here's a good idea of how to find it. So I know it's over there somewhere but I don't know exactly where. So what you do with your tracker 
is your ring. So look, it's actually been following me and it updates every uh, 100, 100 seconds. So it, it is actually working. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to ring it and I'm going to get a live map sent back to me. So what you do is you ring the number And you don't have to answer, obviously, because it's not going to answer. So you can hang up. Welcome. All right, and then just wait a few seconds. Try and get it in. There you go. Got a map straight away. So you open up the map. Hit the coordinates. And it's showing me where it is. And it's showing me where I am. So then you use your phone with that little blue arrow. So we'll walk, we, I know, because I'm actually sort of this way on, to the, in relation to the field, the, the field is like that way on. So if I hold it the way the field is, so that'll start locating. As I get closer, obviously, the blue dot will move closer. So, that's what I hate about this bloody phone. Yeah, so now the arrow, I don't know why. The arrow has changed direction now, so I'm actually facing it. So as long as I keep walking forward, it's going to be around here somewhere. So this is a live demo. This isn't how I wanted it to go. Uh, and like I say, the grass is really, really long here. So according to this, it's around here and it's accurate within five meters so I just want to show you I'm on it now but basically it's just there now can you see in long grass you would struggle if you didn't have some sort of tracker you would really struggle to find that and there she is so that wasn't the demo I had in mind, there's something wrong, the batteries or something, there's just something not quite right. But I've used the TK Nano GPS tracker with the inbuilt app that you install onto iPhone or Android and I found my quadcopter. So if you put this on a plane, a quad, you know, um, you will find what you're looking for. So I hope that for demonstration purposes that has shown you how good this is. Now I was over, you know, I was literally a few feet away from it. And there is where I was. So yeah, um, this has been Gadget Man 404 using the TK102 Nano GPS Tracker out